The family really misses him. I mean, I don't think Scotty knew Juan on a personal level. I don't understand why he would ever do that. I mean, Juan was a really good person. Not only to our family, but just to everyone. He was a great person, and it's just hard kind of thinking that you'll never see him again because of one's idiotic person. <laughs> When I received this case, I thought the final decision would be obvious. There shouldn't be a question about what happens to Scotty McFerrin. He was 17 years old when he saw Juan Garcia, who was 16 years old at the time, walking down the street, doing nothing harmful, and just curb stomped him to death. Yeah, come. I could tell the guy always thought he was a bum or something. He always smirked at me in the hallways. I mean, his friends got me. I heard one time they were talking about me. I knew it was me. They were talking about this kid they didn't like. I mean, it was for sure me. That was the last straw. I hated the kid for that. I followed this guy as he walked home, you see? When he came around the corner, I jumped out and pushed him down. I put his head over a curb and I stomped out of heat. 79% of all violent criminals currently incarcerated were subjected to violent acts in the home. Additionally, the brain does not fully develop until the age of 25. How can my client, how can one expected to be expected to be held to these expectations of, learn, of knowing right and wrong when he was subjected to years of abuse as an adolescent and he doesn't even have the mental faculties to make a prudent decision. He's 18 years old, probably can't even tie his own shoes or comb his hair. How can we expect this? I think this is an absolute travesty. I just don't understand it. I don't we waste it to be thoughtful of others. I can understand it. He went and did something stupid again. How could you say that? Because of all the stupid things he's done. Man, he used to get me so mad. Making funny comments, showing me no respect. He used to make my blood boil. Now he's gone and done something really stupid. Serves him right. You just didn't understand him. Well, I understand him perfectly. No, you didn't understand him. I did. I understood him. He, he told me things that I just couldn't tell you. He didn't have to tell me that stuff. I knew him. Now he gets to talk to the judge. You put him through this. You made him this way. your harshness. Now we don't have them anymore. Sure to learn his lesson. Now we'll have to learn it a different way. Scotty was quiet. He didn't really hang out with anybody. He kept to himself mostly. He seemed really smart. He liked to draw a lot though, but he never really showed anybody his pictures. Nearly 80% of children sentenced to life in prison have witnessed violence in their homes. More than half have witnessed weekly violence in their neighborhoods. Nearly half of all children sentenced to life in prison have previously been physically abused. It is because of these reasons that Scotty McFerrin did what he did. His brain's immaturity or lack of development does not excuse him for the actions that he committed. 
His, the friends and family of Juan Garcia are now grieving the loss of Juan. Scotty McFerrin should not be given the ability of parole. He has caused immense pain to the family of Juan Garcia. Juveniles sentenced to life in prison should not receive parole for their life sentences.